Hello, welcome back again. We have verb tenses review this time, again with Professional English One and I am Marco Mesa. We are going to work with verb tenses this time, and as you know, verb tenses will express, will give information about actions and expressions that will normally go in three deep sorry, different tenses, the past, the present, and the future. Each of them will have different uh, forms in it. Uh, the past will have continuous, the simple, the past perfect, etc., the present the same, and the future also. This time, we are going to work with the past and the present. Actions that happen now or today are, in the present tense, actions that regularly happen. Um, most of the present tense verbs can end in ing, s, or es. We have some clear words that are today, at the moment, etc. Examples of verbs in the present tense are carry, that is the simple form, carries, that is the third singular form and carrying, that is the progressive or continuous form, and it's also uh, known as gerund. Okay, carry again is the simple form, carries is the third singular form, and carrying is also called the present participle. Okay, we also have dress, drive, float, fly, and fuss. Dresses, dressing for dress, drives, driving for drive, floats, floating for float, fly, flies, flying, and pay attention to the ending, fly ends in a Y, in the third person it changes the Y to I, and we add ES, and flying it just adds ING. Fuss, fusses, fussing. Okay. We have hike, jog, juggle, play, run, and stay. Hike, hikes, hiking, jog, jogs, jogging. Please notice that we are doubling the final consonant in jog. Jog, jogs, jogging with the double G. Juggle, juggles, juggling. Play, plays, playing. Run, runs, running, stay, stays, staying. Okay, it is noticeable that play and stay do not change the final Y because the Y is preceded by a vowel. Play, plays, stay, stays. Okay? In the past tense, we have regular and irregular. Regular past tense verbs will end in ed, d, or ied, according to the form they have in the present. Past tense verbs will explain, will give information about actions that, has, that have already finished in the past. Uh, some irregular verbs will change, no, not some, all irregular verbs change the spelling in the past tense. We have regulars, work, work it, study, studied, play, played, copy, copied, love, love it, beg, beg it. Again, we are doubling the G in beg, beg it. We are changing the Y in a study to I, and studied is the past form. Copy is the present form, and copied with an I is the past form. Okay, again, play doesn't change the Y because it's preceded by a vowel, the final Y. Grow, groom, it's an example of a regular verb. Feed, fed, swim, swam, run, ran, cut, cut, can, could. Okay, and we have much more irregular verbs, but you need to learn them in a regular basis, by reading or writing 
practice is the only way to um, learn, understand, and use English or any language. Regular verbs ending in a silent e take a d in the simple past and past participle. Okay, silent e like close, closed. Silent e means that the e is not pronounced. We also have regular verbs that end in a vowel and a y, take, take it, and the simple past tense and past participle make this very easy. Play, played. So we have again that when the verb ends in a y preceded by a, by a vowel, we just add ed at the end. When a regular verb ends in a consonant and a y, we change the y, we drop the y and add ed, ied, um, for the past tense and the past participle forms. Uh, as it says, the y becomes an i and it's followed by an ed particle. Marry, married. The final Y is changed by an I and we add ED. All other regular verbs will take ED in the simple past and past participle. Visit, visited. Okay, it's just an ED at the end. We have examples of the form in which the consonant is after a vowel. Stop, stop it. What, what is the um, structure, what is the, um, the form we can change the present to the past? By doubling the final consonant. When the, when, the, when the verb ends in a consonant preceded by a vowel, we double the consonant. Stop, stop it. Ban, band. Swap, swap it. If the vowel is not a stress, normally is not doubled. For example, open. Open has the stress in O. Opened. Offer. Offered. Okay? In British English, the last L is double anyway, even if it is not stressed in the last vowel. For example, Travel, they write troubled, cancel, cancel, level, leveled, marvel, marveled. Okay. Some irregular verbs in the past will have a different form than in the present. Bleed, bled, shake, shook, bring, brought, make, made, cost, cost, shrink, shrunk. Bleed, bled is uh, repeating, do, did, have, had, fly, flew, were, wore, can, could, fall and fell, swim and swam. Cut doesn't change and it's cut in the past. No, knew, leave, left, lend, lent, let also doesn't change and write and wrote. But um, we have more and more irregular verbs, so you need to practice them by reading and writing, okay? Let's change this to the past. The kids played in the garden last Saturday. She, the, what is the form of visit? Yes, it's a regular verb and is visited. Yesterday, we need to change the verb show to the past tense it is also a regular verb and it, the past tense is showed by my little brother, brother, the new computer game says. Example three, last Friday, comma, that is the correct form, we, and we need a past form of decide to visit Cairo. Yes, decide is a regular verb, so we have decided to visit Cairo. Who invented the ball? 
The shop assistant opened the door to customers. I'm going fast because we have already seen the past form of these verbs. What happened yesterday? The students worked on the project. They wanted to watch TV last night. We walked home last night. Okay. As you see, this is quite easy and the only thing you need is a bit of practice and try to remember the forms of the verbs. Um, unfortunately, there, was, there is no rule to tell which is regular or which is irregular. But practice make this, makes this very easy. Thank you again and I hope we might meet next time.